Today we're going to be discussing three types of slow changes to Earth's surface. We're going to be talking about weathering, erosion, and deposition. So I have here a little model. This is my mountain, this is my riverbed, and then we're going to make ourselves a little waterfall and you can see we have a pool, a pool of clear water at the bottom, so there's nothing in that yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce some rain from our watering can. So I'm going to introduce some rain to the mountain and what we should see is we should see weathering, erosion, and deposition in action, and then we'll talk about them. At the top of the mountain, you can see the water cutting through the mountain. This is an example of weathering. The energy and power of rain falling from the sky is able to pull apart pieces of the mountain over time. If we look farther downstream, we can see the river being, bringing pieces of dirt and small rocks with it. This is called erosion. As the water carries down, it brings small pieces with it. These small pieces continue downriver until they come to an area where they come to a stop, like in a small pool. As you can see here, the small particles of dirt and rock fall to the bottom of the pool. This is deposition. If we watch here, we can see erosion in action. The water traveling downstream is constantly eating away at the sides of the river, bringing pieces down with it. This is constantly happening around us. It widens rivers and eats away at cliff faces. The mud originally finished the orange arrow. After the erosion, look how much has been carved away. We're now start all the way back here. Here's an experiment you can do in your own house. Go into your backyard, get yourself just a little shovel full of dirt, preferably not all those plants. You don't need a lot. Get those plants out of there. And feel free to dig down a little bit deep. The deeper you go, the more stuff you're going to get to and the more uh, material you're actually going to get in there. We have our dirt from outside and what you're going to want inside is just a clear container. Uh, Tupperware works the best. You just need to make sure that you have a lid for it. So any clear container will work just fine. First thing we're going to do is take our dirt and pour it right in there and then come on over here. We're gonna fill the rest of the space with water. Leaving a little space at the top. Okay, so you can see what that looks like. And we're gonna put our top on really tight and secure. Like that, hold it down, and then we're gonna give it a shake. And you wanna shake it real good and mix that all up. And what you can see is we'll get some very dark colored water. Place the container on a table. Wait a little while, and you should notice that the heavier sediment deposits itself on the bottom. This is an example of deposition. 